experience part two of that wonderful performance uh, next month. That was great. So next we have St. Jason with some poetry and music. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everybody. Hi, that was anemic. Hi everybody. Hi. Awesome. Fabulous. So normally I just read poetry, but a few, I guess a month ago or so, um, I was inspired at this open mic to buy a ukulele, which I know is a dangerous thing to do if you're already a poet and kind of a hipster. But I did it anyway, and uh, so I've written two songs, I'm going to play them for you, and I'm going to read you a couple poems in the middle to take the sting off it. So, <laughs> that I actually do know how to do. So here we go, this is actually uh, kind of a song about love and loss called Sunset Park. Sunset Park in Brooklyn I'm not likely to forget You said your life like romance You hinted at a date I asked you the next morning I couldn't bear to wait. We went into Manhattan to a West Village cafe. We walked the streets past midnight, and still had more to say. Sunday Watch children with their dad Don't know why I didn't kiss you I wanted to so bad Eventually it happened Like we both had known it would I can't remember anything Feeling quite that good You showed me I wasn't crazy To want a love like ours Told me that you love me as we sat beneath the stars. And now that it's all over, and you met someone new, it's taken me a long time. Write the song for you. I remember how it started. The cafe where we met. In Sunset Park in Brooklyn. I'm not likely to forget. Uh, with someone for the first time who used an incredible phrase, and uh, this is a poem that came as a result of it. It's called Charismatic Megafauna. She's actually in the room right now. So. She spends her time with a very charming grizzly bear. He listens to what she has to say, asks about her day, and really means it. He goes to the show she wants to see, even if he doesn't always share her passion for modern art. What a pair, 
they make. She in her t-shirt and jeans and Chuck Taylors, he in nothing but his glistening fur. When he stands on his hind legs to open a door, he towers above her, but there's a gentleness in his muscled frame, like a linebacker who's taken ballet lessons. They walk everywhere. He can't fit in a cab or a subway car, but she doesn't mind. She's always liked the outdoors, gets outside whenever she can. Night or day, rain or shine, hot or cold. So more often than not, if you're out and about, you'll see them. A dark-haired woman and her bear, hand in paw, making the most of life. <laughs> Last weekend, many of you saw my friend uh, Daryl Sean, a guitarist uh, who's here from Brooklyn. And uh, so he came to my house after he played here at the newsroom and he stayed for the weekend and we just spent all day just making food and, you know, kind of hanging out with people and playing music. It was really amazing. So uh, this poem is the result. It's called This Poem is a Love Letter to My Friends. I'm too happy to sleep after the piano and the mandolin and the banjo and the bagels and the guitars and the pizzas and the stuffed squash and the pears galumbits and the headstand and the infinity scarf trademark and the two orange drink and the laughing and the Indian food or as Sid calls it food and the way that a friend's visit made me realize I'm surrounded on all sides by people made of joy. So this next song is not a tortured song like the first one. The first one was, of course, a true story, as any of you who've heard more than two of my poems know. Um, this next one is also a true story. Uh, last night I was uh, on Twitter, which is what you do if you don't have, what do they call it? A life! I knew it was me. Um, and this person I don't even know in England just tweeted the phrase, making muffins at midnight. Uh, and it was midnight in England, it was not midnight here, obviously, because we're in different time zones. Look, you learned something in tonight's open mic, that's awesome. So uh, that was such a great phrase, making muffins at midnight, that I just quickly decided to write a song. And this has a little sing-along portion at the end, and I think, given that it repeats about 400 times, you're probably going to be able to pick up on the words. Making muffins at midnight. This is the sing-along. So if you've got that much, that's going to repeat like a hundred times, and then at the very end, you're going to join in. But not, not at the beginning, because it'll throw me off. I only know four chords, so here we go. <laughs> Making muffins at midnight. Making muffins at midnight. Making muffins at midnight. In a motor home, by the motorway. That's alliteration. Used to care about making money. Used to care about all the things that everybody had. Used to worry about the people passing by me. Wonder did they like what I was doing. Used to wear those fancy suits. Not true. Used to have shelves and shelves of expensive shoes. Used to own a fancy car, but it didn't get me far. Took me around in circles Making muffins at midnight Making muffins at midnight Making muffins at midnight In a motor home By the motorway Alliteration And then one day I got wise Realized there was more to life than my stuff so I left it all behind You know I don't mind Cause I'd really rather be Making muffins at midnight Excellent! Making muffins at midnight You guys are naturals Making muffins at midnight In a motor home Excellent! By the motorway One more time, here we go! Making muffins at midnight Excellent! Making muffins at midnight Making muffins at midnight In a motor home by the motorway oh,